Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Battle Brothers episode number four. I want to start off this episode by saying I'm actually enjoying this series a lot more than I thought because playing Battle Brothers, I, I mean I've played several campaigns and you kind of are like lulled into a rhythm, uh, like I mentioned, of taking contracts to, you know, whatever, completing them, upgrading. But uh, so far it's actually, there's been some kind of added appeal playing <laughs> for the recordings. So, or maybe it's just the pressure of playing under expert for watching eyes. I don't know. Uh, anyways, we have a little bit of maintenance to do in Westerholtz before we move on to someplace who will that'll actually give us a contract. And uh, it's no good that we don't have any tools left to repair. I do kind of tend to over repair. Um, we, we probably don't need to repair everything that I, I have been. Uh, 224 for a signet ring. This is, I think, a good price, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, sell it here. Uh, don't, I don't really care. Like the money is more important for us than the exact, probably getting the the best price for it. And speaking of picking up things for on the cheap, this is like one thing I would love to pick up is like this thick tunic, because it is an improvement on a lot of our current armor. Um, actually, a pitchfork for slight damage. And it, this is a good place to buy weapons. We can see that. They're, they like us or something because these weapons which are worth well this one's worth 400 and we're able to buy it for just 403 which is pretty good if you're picking up anything anywhere near its asking price what I think I'll do let's see what our um, we have some actually let's do these level ups first so mingle has a bonus to melee defense and one okay also to initiative which I don't usually do um, and to his range defense slightly, oh, which we can also see here. Um, I think what I'm going to do is give him the plus three melee defense, that makes sense. And he's like an excellent damage sponge, in my opinion, kind of like a tank. I don't, like, I give him the butcher thing just because that's the quirkiness of him, <laughs> not for any, like, min-max reasons. I think we'll give him range defense as well. Why not? Just let put him in the front. And if we're going to do that, we might as well give him hit points. I don't like doing a plus two for melee skill. I'd probably... I'd probably go with the hit points. I mean, melee skill is just never a bad thing to take, though. It's, it's pretty much the whole game, right? <laughs> it's melee skill. It's not a plus one. It does get hit a lot, though. I'm going to take the melee skill. And now the more important thing, he gets his uh, perk. I'm still following down the routine. There was a good discussion about this by Wade Star on one of the previous videos, a comment. Um, he mentioned that it's not the ideal. People have also corrected me, not just Wade Star, but other people have corrected me by saying, at, you can see at the, the text, if I had just read it, it, it used to be that it didn't give you any perk um, back, but now you can see the second sentence, or third sentence, third line. At the 11th character level, you gain an additional perk point, and this perk becomes inert. So uh, that's, that's really good. Basically, it's saying that there's no downside to taking this in terms of your final character build. You get there faster. Obviously, you waste an initial perk, but your investment in getting experience faster is paid back eventually that you um, you get the perk back. So even though because it's an experience perk, when you are no longer able to gain experience, it's you know no longer useful. But the game has now rewarded that by saying that you'll get an additional perk when you get to the end level. So what else? I don't really know what we want to be doing around here uh, with all these repairs and stuff. Basically, I, my idea is to go to some place where we can get... Oh, this is not good. But it's actually still the best... Probably still his best 20. Yeah, it's actually still the best armor. Is <laughs> This Gambeson at 32% is still better. Uh, also, um, our Incompetent Idiot, who's done really well, Incompetent the Ill-Fated, I should say, is doing really well. He doesn't need very good armor. He's not going to be in a position to take blows very often, at least we hope. So I can kind of give his armor to somebody else who's doing well. I don't... So this is Chuck the, the Chuck Chicken Choker. The The wouldn't fit, but it's kind of a long name. I recommend slightly shorter titles, but that's fine. Uh... I don't really know. He's kind of like my fodder. Him, Mingle and Chuck are both my my fodder, and 
gosh, poor Mingo Man. It's, now he's got fatigue. He has the Crush Windpipe still, but now on top of it, he has Cut Arm Sinew, <laughs> which decreases his damage. He might legitimately be a good person to put in the back lines for now. Um, but until then, I think that everyone else has better armor than... Well, this is slightly better, so we'll make that. Matthias, I, I hope, is in for the long haul. He's done very well. So, I mean, it comes down to whether we want to give... I mean, I guess Padded Sir Code is going to go over to Chuck. Hope, I hope he doesn't lose it, because I'm actually... The armor is more valuable than the person right now. His melee skill is just way too low. 44 compared to... I mean, you can just see everyone else's. Even Matthias at level 1 is at 49... It just uh, nobody has as low <laughs> as 44. He's a uh, he's pretty useless, even though he has uh, decent resolve. Uh, so we'll we'll wait for him to get himself killed, basically. But until then, he he's useful enough that we can put him in a, a spot, hold some hold some part of our line. So is there with the 950 we have after selling Signet? Is there anything we want to get? I've, I've I've always liked picking up spears. Does an, another spear... My idea eventually is to have two spears, and we can form a spear wall on the flanks. That's um, my idea moving forward, to always have two spears on the flanks. Because that kind of protects you from being surrounded... Well, basically be from being outflanked. As you might imagine, a spear is good against being outflanked. But who would take the second spear? Oh, no, we already have two. We already have our two spearmen, which I'm kind of happy to see. Maybe I will just move him to the outside immediately then. Although, we're, we're so early on, I'd prefer, in fact, for them to be protected. <laughs> so we'll have our good Axemen in the middle. We'll have our... Uh, you don't usually want two Axemen right next, side by side. So we'll probably have to do something like this. I There is a, a, there is a rhyme or reason to my distribution here. I kind of like having two spears near Meat Pants because he's my huge damage dealer, but we want to protect him. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't really... Okay, let's do it this way. I'm gonna put him on the end. He also needs to level up Radaric. Oh yeah, fantastic. Easy, no-brainer there to get the plus three. Um, we'll take the plus four in Fatigue for sure. That is, that is a good call. And then I think I'm going to take the plus two in melee defense. None of these other ones really call out to me, so they'll do that. And we'll also give him student. Students for everyone. All right, Meat Pants is going to get plus three in melee skill. Plus three, excellent. In this, Meat Pants is off the charts in terms of capabilities. And you know what? I mean, two great options here. I'm going to give him the fatigue. Gosh, Meat Pants. I hope we hold on to Meat Pants for a while. And the good news is we have a patched mail shirt, which is should last him, or it should keep him in the fight for uh, a little while at least. It's, it's pretty darn good armor. Um, now with that all said, I guess we don't need the extra spear. Like Maybe the hook blade? It's just, I mean, it's pretty expensive, but things are cheap. All right, well, let's not get too captivated with the idea of just buying something for the sake of buying something. I don't think we're gonna get anybody. I Eventually we'll be in the I will be in the market for a new ranged individual. Is Sigmund that person? Is he going to be our next ranged person? 515, I need, I do need to buy tools. Daily of 9 is not terrible. I, how, What's our food supply at? We only have two days. Okay, let's hire him and then let's just get food for now, which hopefully is also cheap. Um, nope. Yep, we got some, some here. And that's not bad either. So we'll just get this, which is going to be five days. Perfect. Okay. Now, where do we want to go? We want to head... I think we'll just continue with these... Um, oh, my phone. I think we'll just continue with uh, these... This uh, faction. I can't speak right now. House. I guess it's a house, right? Are you, are you a faction or are you a house? R, I thought, right? Yeah, I should have just guessed. Yeah, it's a house. So we want to endear ourselves with House Gunbald. And the individual towns are starting to like us a little bit more, obviously, as we complete quests. And this Top and Moose looks like it'll have a quest. It doesn't look too big. They would spurn a lowly mercenary company like ourselves. 
And it's true, they do have a contract available here. I first want to just look for tools. Come on. It was 300 at the other place, just in case you're wondering why I didn't buy them there. It's not any better here. This one has not unreasonable ammo, though. And not unreasonable medical supplies. I can't do those, though, because <laughs> you do need a little bit of money to pay for stuff. Although, I, I, alright, I can surely sell the wooden stick. I'm almost sure I won't use, like, these knives. This wooden flail is probably just but basically useless to me. Yeah, all right, we've made our decisions. Let's stick to those. Um, Sath cloth, I actually think the five and first the ten, it's actually not even worth it. We'll take that. And we actually have a Akaton cap I forgot to equip with somebody. Um, okay, so let's get you in the back line like so. Uh, your cap, you're probably going to be the one who gets it next. So you're, no, 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 me pants, of course, should be getting this. And then this is 20, this is probably, okay, it's 30, it's fine. Um, Mingle is a low priority, 30. Well, Mingle is still somehow a higher priority than Chuck. But we could, you know what, actually, Chuck, I'm so sorry, man, you just, <laughs> you're not gonna be in it for very long, I, I suspect. Uh, I'd actually prefer to protect my, my back line. <laughs> I even think that that's true about Mingle, although putting a leather cap on one of the people in the back seems a little absurd. Okay. I don't even know if Mingle will fight in the next mission, because he's so just right in such wretched shape. Uh, Waystar also, thankfully, has told me that asking for mon more money on ev every contract does not diminish anything in the future, so it's just an extra button that you always should push. So let's talk pay. We want to just say we need more payment in general. Which I think has the best chance of improving. Okay, he's gonna say it no, then I'll just say I accept. Hunt down what terrorizes Tabu Moose, I accept. Don't really have too many options right now. So we should get there it is, the footprints leading away. Are we ready to take on whatever it is? I don't know. And unfortunately it's moving us into the swamp. That is not my favorite thing. Okay, uh, we move on. If we're lucky, I can actually pull him back. Okay, some, some dire wolves, not great. I'm going to pull back into the forest. In fact, I'm going to hope that we can get them, draw them back. Uh, it's going to be night soon, though. I want to engage him before night. Is everything ready? Are we ready to go? Oops. All right, so let's, I think we gotta pull Mingle out. It's gonna be three, I mean, this is brutal. Let's do something like this. Uh, hopefully Chuck just takes it. I hope he's the one who ends up losing his life, <laughs> if anybody. Eh, we're ready though, we're ready. And I think we're engaging, yep, in a much better place for combat. And hopefully, hopefully in light conditions because we have the ranged advantage by far now. These are no jokes, these dire wolves. So, pretty good terrain for us. I feel like the open terrain is going to favor us here. Um, they also decided to just really charge forward. Uh, in general, wow, not fantastic odds of hitting here. Um, I like to think about this in terms of firing twice. The chance of missing twice is 75 times 75. So, uh, about half. Slightly better than half still. Which means that it's still better than 37%. Maybe they're exactly even. Because 9 sixteenths, what is that? Is 7 sixteenths 34? I don't think so. I think it's higher. So anyways, let's just take two small shots. And we have a chance also of hitting, you know, the other individuals in front. Or behind, or just missing altogether. That's also an option. Mingle, will wait with you. Uh, fire crossbow. 61% chance, this is what I like to see. There we go. At least one hit. You can see how little that's doing, actually. Um, you can actually move up and attack if we choose to corner them here. I think we will. Um, their flank is actually going to be protected if I choose to engage them here. But what other choice do we have? We'd have to back up a fair ways to get any kind of height advantage. I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, I think we'll just... Wait. 
He can move forward, it should only cost him three, and he'll have enough for an attack. Okay, good, so we'll wait with you. And this is the person, Chuck, you're just going into the fray, and you are, unfortunately, probably going to die. So I'm gonna move you here, which is pretty aggressive, and it doesn't actually do anything, right? It doesn't put us in range to attack anybody. But uh, the good news is it's gonna seal the flank. They're gonna have to go through him to get to our main line. Then I can shift my entire main line up, which will give us um, the three best individuals are the ones I want to attack him. I guess we can't do that, can we? He has to go here. Ah, uh, Raderick is not going to be useful then. We'll figure out a way to make Raderick useful. I'm still going to do this. It's a bizarre choice, I, I fully admit, but Chuck is just our, our fodder. So you're going here. You have to go here. And we're not even going to need to shield while you, because he'll be the obvious choice. Okay, so we'll just uh, end the turn there. I'm going to wait with you, because you're the one tricky one. Now, this is the interesting thing. I want to move forward and then wait. You move forward and then attack. Good, end your turn. Uh, Mingle, you're going to be our reservist over here. So, just move there and end your turn. Uh, yeah, now we have the clear move forward and attack once. 55% chance. Ugh, I was really hoping. <laughs> and basically, I don't know what to do with Raderick. He's in a tricky... I'll just move him north. Swing him around eventually. And then this is the big one. Oh, excellent. Okay, good. That's what I was hoping. And that's what I was hoping would happen as well. In fact, Chuck is holding this well for himself. Oh, wow. So he went after... It's kind of surprising to me. Okay, well, Mingle, I'm going to have you slow... Let's actually have you wait. There's one, two, three. Yeah, Radar can move there, so you cannot move there. The surround bonus is not probably not worth it. I think I'm actually going to move Mingle over here. I'm not... Why am I so concerned if Mingle dies? Well, I'm going to have him wait. All right. Chop. Just chop. Ugh. Yeah. It's unfortunate this guy is surrounded well. Okay, there's one hit at least. Uh, this is a good hit. 5%, my god. Well, still go for it. Yeah, two misses. I think this is still... I don't know why that guy is in, has a chance of being hit. Yeah, still worked. And you are going to attempt to stun. Nope. Just go with a normal blow then. Oh, wow, two misses. Not great. He's our best chance to hit because he's more surrounded, so we'll go with that. Yay, very good. Um, go ahead and end your turn. So, Radarik, you're going to keep moving forward. Get you to the front line soon. Ursa, I'm really sorry that you took such a heavy blow. Oh, it was to your head. That's why he actually nailed your head. That's, well, that's really unfortunate. I think this one will rout as soon as we kill him. So let's go for him, actually. Although... He's basically dead. I've done a terrible thing. Well, if Meat Pants hits, that's a dead one anyway. And they're both... Yeah, this is great. They're both retreating now. And even more so. <laughs> we even got an achievement for that. Ulf Hedner. I don't know if it's funny. I've killed so many things. I wonder why Ulf Hedner is... I wonder what that means. <laughs> anyway, uh, they've also... one of the They've had a few patches coming out. So the game is still being, like... Not really a feature implemented at this point, but still getting um, a few... Oh, and yeah, it looks like we got some little, a little bit of loot there. Uh, I actually can move forward because there's no risk. This guy is locked into combat, so we'll move him forward. Um, I mingle. I think I'm still going to move you here and then here. So we can get the surround on him next turn. Okay, so Chuck took... We're going to get out of this combat just fine. Mingle, go ahead and just, well, wait. Let's be smart. Um, I should move forward. I'm going to wait with you, because if we kill him, we can move forward into the spot. This seems a little more risky, but I'm still going to go for it. And it paid off. Now, for you, I think we should do an aim shot. Only an 8% chance. Okay, well, let's just do this. Let's be a little bit... What if we do this? Ah, oh, we don't have enough. Okay, well, I'll just end your turn then. You will move down, and this guy is surrounded, so we will begin uh, doing our attack. And that's all we can do. Okay. 
Yeah, like I said, I think I want to move, uh, kill this guy if I can, just to give Bursa a chance to move up. Alright, this guy's now in forward trade. Alright, we've done it. And we actually completed it. Very good. So that was just purely... I mean, we took some damage, so we'll have to repair... Repairing is something we really need to get to soon. So let's go back to town and do some repairs. Collect our contract. A measly 250. Not even 250, really, but... Okay, successful hunt. Let's get into town. And there it is. So it's closed. We're going to actually... Oh. You know what? Maybe we'll just go to... Is Jader Wall look too big? It might be too big for us. No. Chronix Fest looks too big. Let's go to Jade Wall. I don't want to wait all day just for the market to open up. So let's see. Let's just do our travel time at night. We could camp, mind you. Um, we can't camp right... I don't think you can camp right next to the cities, but... If we were to risk getting waylaid... I guess waylaid is if you're already moving. No contracts. Okay, this is still too big for us, unfortunately. But let's just see if we can get some tools on the cheap. Yes. And you know what? Because we're in so desperate need... I don't know if that was a smart move. But we can sell these pelts. And that doesn't seem like a terrible price. 27. I'm going to sell that just so we have enough money to pay people. And you know what? We don't need these extra bucklers. At least one of them. I'll, I'll, I'll keep one. And aside from that... Make sure everyone's going to repair their own inventory stuff, which is still good. Oh, I don't... So he does have a knife as a backup, and you have something as a backup. Everyone's repairing. We have this being repaired. Do we want to repair that hatchet? I think so. Oh, and you know what's even better is Matthias has gained a level up. Alright. Wow. Plus four and hit points. I think that's a, a must. I don't like anything else here. Probably plus three to endure, uh, to fatigue. Gosh, this is... I mean, I I hate taking a plus one in melee. Almost, almost can't get, bring myself to do it. Um... I think we'll go with this plus two in range defense and hope that something else pays off. That was still a low roll. That was just a terrible roll. Matthias, come on, man. Hopefully the statistics will even out in the future, though. Okay, good. So that's done. Can't take a contract here, though. Don't have enough money to hire anyone anyway. So I guess we go... Where else can we take a contract from? Maybe Swarzenberg? Looks like it is... Nope. Big capital. Huh. Well, let's go back to Top of Moose. I don't think they have a contract there. You know, that's kind of useless. Let's go to Waithoff. Eventually, we want to visit every place. Um, that's actually a quest that comes up. Get to friendly relations with a civilian faction. How are we doing with the factions right now? Barely. Oh, yeah, we haven't done any missions for <laughs> the houses themselves yet. So, that won't improve. Ah... Well, this felt like a bit of a slower episode, but we, I can't believe it. We're already up to 24 minutes. I mean, the combat was, what, 10 minutes of this 20-minute video? <laughs> Pretty straightforward in that one. Yes, we have a contract. Good. Anything else? We probably... Gosh, probably got to sell something. People need to eat and all that. But I won't. We'll just take a contract. It'll give us some kind of advance. Grave robbers. Let's talk money. We need to be paid more for this. Damn it. Well, fine. 370, I accept. Um, well, this is not going to be a, a, a mission we can take in this episode, but that's another quick one. I think we're fine as is to go. We have... Oh, good. They've enabled this thing now where even if you switch... Oh, actually, it didn't affect us. There's somewhere a button now, maybe in the options, where we can choose to have people keep their pre-existing... Yeah, reset equipment after battle. So if my archer takes out his dagger because he goes to close range, this will make it so that it goes back to his default afterwards. Let's actually enable that. And now we're on a trip over to here. The Tilted Tombstones. Some unknown garrison. Just make our way over there and I'll pause on the outside.
Um, then we'll call this episode to a close. Okay, during camp. Uh, rat catcher. I guess rat catcher's events are not good. But I didn't really even read that one. All right, so we'll pause it here. And that's it. So I'll catch you back for the next episode where we will enter the tilted tombstones. I suppose our best bet is actually going to be to enter during the day. Um, I don't think that tombstones are a great place to be going at night. So I might seriously just wait here until daybreak and then go in. And, but we'll leave that decision to the next episode. Until then, thanks for watching and take care.